How old are you right now, though? 20, I just turned 23. Isn't that such a fucking weird feeling that there's stuff that you did when you were like 13 that the world still remembers? Yeah, or like well, some percentage was, of your people, fan base still remembers? Yeah, especially when I was like 17 and 18. Okay, and that, that was the part they actually remember? Yeah, yeah, that, all that shit is right. gone. People don't. But, um, but yeah, I just for real, like grew up in front of people. Like I'm ever since I was like, um, ever since I was like 17. And I wasn't, I was mature in some ways, but I wasn't, I wasn't like the most mature. And ever since I was 17, I was used to there being more, more comments about me than I could even read. So, yeah. so I think it's going to take time for me to even like understand what that, you know, cause I, cause I look back to some of the old shit and I genuinely like thought I was being authentic, like. But sometimes I listen to songs like my sad songs where I'm like screaming in them and I listen, I'm like, bro, like when I'm sad, I don't even scream. I, I, I feel like defeated when I'm sad. I'm a person who doesn't, when I'm sad, I go home, I don't talk to anybody. Like I don't, mm. you know, when shit's going on. So, so I realize now like that was, that was a character being played. I didn't, I didn't even know, like, right. you know, at this point, this is the first time in my career not my life, but like my career, where like I hear my music and I'm like, that's me. And it and it even feels like different doing like interviews and shit in general. Like I know I just said this, but I know like this is gonna be the first time my friends see hear the music and see the interviews and they're like, Oh, that's my friend. Mm. Because before it was like, Who's this kid who's like rapping about being better than rappers? I know this kid, he doesn't care about that. And I never right. did. I don't I don't look at this shit like a competition. Yeah. I respect that for sure. Do you feel like, like, how did you actually go about learning to be so good at rapping at a young age, though? Like, was, was it a very, very concerted effort to, like, study right. the art? Or was it something that you just gradually got better and better I at? I think it was, I think it was, I think it was gradual. Um, I don't know, like, probably the music I was listening to, maybe. But um, I always, like, was into, like, words um, but I work really hard, you know, like I really care about this, like music, mu and it's not like lyric, like it's not being able to rap, but music has always been my life since I was six. Mm. Like it's so deep intertwined in me. So I just, and I work really hard. So like when I decided as a 14 year old, I need to prove that I can rap, um, I worked really hard. I recorded songs every day. So I like... Since I was 14, I'm 23 now. It's been a decade of, of recording songs every day. So I just got naturally better, I guess. Right. And, I mean, it's got to be kind of weird still staying out on the East Coast and just having this level of success and everything. Because yeah. out here, if you moved around here, it's like your level of success would generally kind of like blend in with a lot of other right. people. But being out there, it's like... You know, being somewhere where there are, like, being from the East Coast, there's very few popular rappers from New England, very few people who made it out of that environment. I mean, it must just really stand out. Yeah, it, st it stands out, and it's, um, but I stay away from the shit. Like, I don't really like to be around, like, uh, people, because it's easy to feel like the man where I'm from, because mm. there's no one, there's no one really doing it, so... Um, but I live in like a neighborhood that like no one knows about. Okay. Um, but but yeah, I just I, I stayed there. It definitely wasn't because I felt like the man there. Like I don't fuck with that energy. Like I left high school when I when I was becoming the man just because it was like one day I was cool, one day I wasn't cool, and the next day I was. Um, I just saw that I don't like that energy. So, but now but now I just I, it was for it wasn't like. I need to stay out here. It's just that I just didn't feel like ready to like be so far away from everything. Mm. I was, I was like, it was like intimidating to me back then. Now it's just not. All right, guys. So the No Jumper Clips channel right here. Make sure you subscribe. We just blasted past 30,000 subscribers. Our next goal is 50,000 subscribers. Please help us out and hit that red button. Thank you.